Autism diagnoses are rising, but researchers say autistic girls and women are missing out because of male-based diagnostic tools. New Australian research shows girls with autism are being diagnosed much later than boys, and as a result, they're missing out on critically important support. Wrapped, stacked and packed. Advice on supporting autistic girls is about to hit the shelves. The author says it's about time. They miss out on supports and they deserve an education just as much as anyone else of a mum. She's pleased the first Australian study into this is calling for better tools to diagnose autism in girls and women. It's actually good to see research catching up to what we've been saying for so many years now through our lived experience and our stories. This is the emotions poster that we use. When my kids are having really big feelings, Heather Cox didn't discover she was autistic until she was 38. You don't feel like you belong and I didn't want my children to, to have that experience. Her autism was picked up around the same time she had her kids diagnosed. She says her daughter's traits are very different to her son's. A lot of the things that we know about what autism looks like is very much geared towards that male presentation. The research from Flinders University shows that's led to girls being diagnosed later than boys or having their autism overlooked altogether. Boys will often externalise their behaviours and become um, more obvious in the classroom, um, act out, have meltdowns, where girls are more inclined to camouflage their behaviours. Late diagnosis means delayed access to support, which can have damaging effects. The researchers want clinicians to be trained to recognise what autism looks like in women and girls so they can confidently diagnose them. Naz Campanella, ABC News.